Copa America final was overshadowed by the chaotic and troubling scenes in and around the stadium ahead of the match. Yesterday, we're talking about a number of unruly fans that just stormed the gates here. There are some fans who paid thousands of dollars for tickets and travel, and they were locked out. Unticketed fans breaching security, causing chaos and a very dangerous situation for the fans packed in. As videos like this have been making a lot of rounds on social media. Hey guys, I am on my way to the Copa America semifinal. It's 2.23, we need to be at stands in like two hours and 15 minutes, so I'm hoping that traffic isn't insane. And then we head to the game. A tequila brand is actually bringing us to this game, which is so, so, so cool. Shout out to them. I'll show you guys their tequila and show you guys their name and everything soon. Here comes Ali. The game is gonna start pretty soon here. Um, and we're running a bit behind. And we also don't have an air mattress. We're gonna be sleeping on the cold, hard ground in Stan's house tonight. But, but at least I brought two blankets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, at least we have that. Okay, I'll see you guys when we get to Charlotte. Just arrived in Charlotte for the game. We're meeting up with the tequila brand here in like 45 minutes. Stan's gonna meet us soon. Let me tell you guys the name of this brand though, because I feel like you need to know them. So it's Grand Centenario, I think. They've been super, super generous with us. And we're gonna go and cheer on Colombia with all my friends. We're yeah. vlogging. Stan's here, by the way. Stan the man. Stan's friend is not here. No friends. already coming off, which is really annoying, but I just need some like good photos, that's all, but yeah, that's a grand centenario tequila, this is insane, such a crazy experience, I, I just can't believe I'm here right now. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, we're here today at the Columbia Uruguay game. You know, super excited. Official prediction for the match 2 1 Columbia. What about you? What about you, Ali? Um, okay, so I wanted to go 2 2 overtime, and then I want Columbia to win PKs. My prediction is 1 1, and then I think that Uruguay will get, um, they'll win two fouls from Columbia. Two yellow cards because they've been swapping 24-7. You know that. No, he doesn't. He doesn't watch football. He's whoa, whoa. Um, <laughs> but outside of that, I think that it'll go to kids and then Colombia will take We're about 
have to leave this area. <laughs> Sam just made it back. We need to go to the bathroom so, so bad. My favorite influencer. We can't find our spot. Now, apparently Suarez and Nunez like hopped in the crowd afterwards and, and fought, fought people. Yeah. Like actually like fought fans. Um, and we missed yeah, it. Yeah, we missed it. We missed it. We left too early. Colombia 1-0, moving on to the finals, going against Messi. I will be there, sadly. I will, Ali not, will be. not be. But I'm very, very excited for it. Like Steve Largent, Steve Largent. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Those are good days. But that, that guy, that guy, he's in the Hall of Fame, all right? We are on the way to the stadium and we have to walk <laughs> because traffic is so bad. We love walking. So <laughs> it's going to be interesting. It's so hot out. I am literally rooting for Colombia, but I'm wearing an Argentina kit, so I don't know. I'll be happy no matter who wins, right? I don't know. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> this is actually crazy. Well, I thought the semi-final was crazy, but this is insane. I haven't even made it in yet. So at this point, we've been sitting in this crowd for two and a half hours under no shade, nowhere to move to because the crowd was so dense, and absolutely no water. You think that, like, the people who put together this event would at least hand out water to people, free water, so that people wouldn't pass out, but that wasn't the case. My friend Nix almost passed out and ended up getting sun poisoning. J-Town was profusely sweating, and I don't know how Ape managed it, He's there's gotta be some magic there or something. Anyways, we were standing there, we were taking shots of whatever alcohol was be being handed to me. I have no clue what it was, but honestly, shot to Thomas. And then as the time went on, the gates started getting pushed open and we were like, what is happening? You know, what's going on? But all of a sudden, all the gates get pushed open and people start running forward. People start moving so hectically to the point where I got crushed, my chest got crushed and I couldn't breathe. It was so terrifying. But we got through the crowd and we were in. Literally insane. Like I, I'm sure half these like half these people like have tickets, but half of them probably don't because the gates just got broken open. So uh, hopefully no one's in our seat, I guess. But this is a it, and it's not even like on the people though. This is on the people who put together this event. This is actually horrible, and we're not ready to host the World Cup. That is for sure.
game and Argentina are in the background cheering right now. Messi got hurt, which is a bit upsetting, uh, but we still had a decent time. Honestly, we expected to play or to watch 90 minutes of football and we watched two hours. <laughs> so at least there's that. I'll update you guys on like all the specifics though later because there was a lot of like crazy stuff happening. Um, but I need to get out of this like foot traffic first and get an Uber. Hello, it is the next morning and I feel like I didn't film enough for you guys. So we're gonna do a house tour and I'll show you the guys because I didn't film them very much either. My flight leaves at noon, or I board at noon, so once I get packed up here, um, it is 9.30, so I need to leave here and make 30 minutes. I got my own private area because I'm a girl in my bedroom. Hello there. Here is the living room with the giant TV. Here are the boys. Hello, we're all exhausted from yesterday's game. Um, and then here's the boys' area. I stayed away from it. They're like, it's really cute though. Super cute. And then the backyard is like the main thing that's kind of insane. It's like an oasis. Look at it. It is so cute. I literally like, we're in Miami and I didn't go, like we went to the beach yesterday for like half a second to watch the Euros game. I like, we stayed out here the whole time. Look at how nice this is. There's like a pool and like a pool house. Um, we had like cornhole. I also lost my like golden bracelet that I've worn for the last year that I got in Edinburgh. So that was like a little sad. Also, I'm really sorry. I have like smudges on my screen from last night. Um, but yeah, this is amazing. And you know, I, we wouldn't be here, here. I'm actually gonna clean this off. We wouldn't be here without Nyx. Nyx like got us all together and gave us this opportunity. And even though last night was kind of like all over the place, um, it's still like a super fun memory and honestly it made things a bit more interesting. We got to see like what true passion looks like which is hard to see in the US when it comes to soccer because it's like not the most popular sport. People were talking or like I like tweeted like the US isn't ready for the World Cup which we are and I get it. like the World Cup is like ran by FIFA, this is ran by Conmebol but no matter what like you can't compare, like people were saying like, oh, well these are NFL stadiums and these, this never happens with NFL games. But the thing is, the World Cup isn't NFL teams either, you know? And it's gonna be a ton of passionate football fans for international teams. Like that's like a whole country's fans, right? That wanna see these games and like whether or not they have the tickets, they wanna show up and support their team. and. There's not even turnstiles. Like you can just walk, like push through if you really wanted to. Um, so they need to fix something. They do because nothing happened to me last night that was too drastic. But there was like little kids. There was little kids, and that was like super scary for them because, you know, like the the parents thought that this would be like a decent game to like bring their kids to, and like obviously there's always going to be something going on because like foot football gets like a bit. Um, like passionate, right? But like there was like kids like in the mess of people being crushed and like I was like trying to hold people back and then I would get pushed together towards people. And it was like actually like kind of scary at first. Um, and I heard that like a lot of people who bought tickets weren't able to get in because they just like opened the gates at a certain point because so many people were just like pushing through. And I think it could have been avoided if there was just turnstiles, like any other like football place. Like, don't get me wrong. I watched Attack on Wembley. I saw what can happen with turnstiles, but I feel like people can't get into the stadium as easily if they have to scan into a turnstile and whatnot. Like maybe they can like, what's the word? Like it's like jib or something like that, like with someone. But like, so that's at least two people at a time rather than like a whole entire crowd. So I don't know, we'll see uh, in the future what happens and if they make any changes, I'm sure they will. Um, yeah, shout out to Nick, shout out to J-Town, shout out to Eight for hanging out with me. It was super, super fun. It honestly went too quick and I'm exhausted. So I'm excited to get back, get back into working out. I wanted to film some soccer stuff out here, but again, so exhausted, so busy. I'll probably regret it later, but whatever. Okay, bye guys.